everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Welcome back to another episode of Yo Weezy! If you are familiar with this series, it's You Wanted It, I Bought It. So I took to Twitter a couple of weeks ago and I said to everyone, Hey guys, I am going on a holiday soon and uh, can you send me some clothes from Wish that you want me to try out? I told everyone to try and stick within a 5 US dollar budget. Now if you're familiar with Wish, you might know that 5 US dollars isn't actually what you would end up paying because then because then you end up having to pay for shipping. So some of these things, they might be $5, some of them might be with the shipping, maybe six, seven, eight dollars. But anyway, I said to everyone, keep the clothes within $5 and I asked them to pick things that had a sort of resort kind of vibe, like a holiday vibe. Because Dan, Sam and I headed up to Hamilton Island, which is in the Whit Sundays in Australia. If you go right up the top to Queensland, beautiful island where you drive around on golf buggies and you just kick back by the beach. Or uh, in our case, staying inside playing Catan. We were heading up there for a week, so I wanted to sort of challenge myself. So basically the, the challenge kind of backfired on me and I really should have thought a little bit further ahead. But what I thought to do was I'll get all of the clothes from Wish and I'll just put all of them in my suitcase and then I'll fly up there. I won't even try them on. I'll just fly up there and then I'll make myself for the whole week wear nothing but clothes from Wish. I also got bikinis from Wish. Like I did the entire time that we were there wearing only swimsuits from Wish and that video is coming later. But the problem here was because I didn't actually try on any of the clothes before I went to Hamilton. I packed the entire suitcase with nothing, not a single item of clothing other than clothing from Wish. And uh, as you'll see in this video, some of these things ended up being just, just the teensiest, tiniest, teeniest, little bit of a disaster. Yeah, my plan kind of backfired. And not only that, sort of, we had a bit of issues with actually getting there because of the airline that we flew with, and, and you'll see about that later. Anyway, so we were up there for what was meant to be eight days, but ended up being seven, and you'll see why soon. Now, if you're familiar with Wish, you might know that it takes a little while for the stuff to arrive. Sometimes it can take an, an entire month, or sometimes two months even. So it was about two months ago that I ordered the that I ordered the products, and I purposefully ordered more than what I needed. Hello? Hello? So I ended up buying, I think in total, 15 pieces of clothing. If, if you know Wish, you know that half the stuff won't turn up. So I bought about 15 pieces of clothing in the hopes that at least, you know, seven of them would arrive. And luckily for me, I think about 10 pieces arrived. I thought I would challenge myself to not try anything on and only pack items from Wish in my suitcase. And then when I got there, there was a couple of things that I just, I couldn't wear. I just, I couldn't. <laughs> You'll see why. So I ended up recycling a lot of the items of clothing and I'll tell you exactly how many times I've worn what and how many things I haven't worn at all and that sort of thing. So uh, with that, let's jump into it. Normally I would save the best until last, but honestly, I am so excited about this one that I'm just gonna show it to you right off the bat, get you guys really excited for this video because this is a sick, awesome, awesome piece of clothing. So this dress came in a whole bunch of different patterns. But the funny thing is that on the listing, it's actually called a Zaful dress. So I don't know whether maybe Wish, the people that are selling this on Wish, maybe they're the same warehouse or something that stocks Zaful, but it says Zaful women's fashion, 1950s, swing dress, prom dress, plus size, big hem, elegant floral, sleeveless A-line dress, small to 4XL. Well, wow, that's a stable head you've got there. Now, of course, there's many different colors to choose from here, but I went for the pastel pink and blue. It was just screaming my name, and I am so glad that I got it. Here it is here, and the very first thing that I noticed when I pulled it out of the package, I couldn't believe how thick the material was. It's really, really thick. It feels very well made. This feels like something that I have actually seen in a store for about $80 that I have thought about buying so many times. It's almost identical to this dress that I've seen in store, but I never bought it because it was so expensive. And this was only $5. I'm the shookest. So anyway, the day came that we were leaving for Hamilton Island, so I threw this on, said a very tearful goodbye to our dear little Archie, and we headed off on our holiday. We're gonna miss you so much, be a good boy. You have to stay here by yourself, no friends. It's a bit rude. Make sure you turn the lights off before you go to bed. Don't eat too much seed, it's bad for you. And not too many almonds. You can have a few, but not too many. You promise you're gonna be good? You're gonna be a good boy, we're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you. <laughs> oh. 
I picked up this dress in a size small because I thought to myself, well, if it's Chinese sizes, I might need to size up, but it does feel a little bit roomy around my bust, although I don't really have any boobs at all. So maybe if I did, this would fit snugly, but I did find sometimes when I was bending over to pick things up, you could see straight down the dress. I snapped this picture when we were heading out the door. I have my little shaggy bags that Dolls Kill gave me. This dress was the only one that I put on before we left because for a start, when you're arriving on a beautiful island holiday, you want to feel a little bit islandy or resorty. And I thought the flowers and the color was just just so perfect for a holiday. It was also really good to wear on a plane because it's very, very comfortable and it's a really good length. So going upstairs, going onto the plane or anything like that, no one would be able to see up the dress because it's a very appropriate length for me. And I was really, really excited to arrive on Hamilton Island wearing this and to take some pictures and say, yay, we're here and you know, look really, really fab. But uh, we encountered a little bit of a, a problem. We were supposed to take off at, what was it? 12 something and now it's uh, four ish and the flight won't go until 4.40 and we won't get there until like 7 so it's, it's been a long day haven't really done much vlogging haven't really felt like it haven't been in the mood oh well I'm wearing the dress at least <laughs> and it's comfy so that's good right when I thought things couldn't get any worse well things didn't quite go to plan we arrived at the airport at like 10 a.m. flight was meant to be at 12 15 uh, It said delayed for four hours So by that point we were already at the airport and we thought well by the time we turn around and go home And the, tra the traffic was really really heavy. We thought we're not gonna be able to <laughs> It's okay. We thought we're not gonna be able to go home or do anything and come back in four hours So we'll wait so we couldn't even check in we couldn't even check in our bags or do anything so we just sat around waiting until four and then they put it back until five mm. and then, then they opened up the check-in counter so we checked in our bags our suitcases they took them off we went to the boarding gate and then they were just about to board us they called the seats and everything and then there was a bolt of lightning and they said sorry uh we can't board you there's a storm we waited and we waited and we waited and uh and they said sorry you're cancelled. <laughs> More cancelled than Thomas Halbert. No, I'm joking. They said, you're gonna have to go collect your bags and come back tomorrow. We're putting you on another flight at 7 a.m. So the thing is, to get back to the airport in time for a 7 a.m. flight, you need to be back by 5. five. Probably 5. So, mm, it's good to... Don't eat and talk, that's disgusting. It's a mukbang! I think, gross. So <laughs> <laughs> potatoes and squawking. It's disgusting, stop it. To get back here by 5 a.m. Obviously, we need to stay near the airport because we live too far away Well, the bastards wouldn't put us up at the airport because we live in Sydney to, to make matters worse Remember how I said they checked in our luggage? Well, they, they kept our luggage So then we sat on the floor at the baggage carousel for an hour and a half waiting for our suitcases to get back And then we booked ourselves this hotel and now we're smashing some room service. We're watching Bird Box Oh, this video is about the clothes. So yes, the clothes. Uh, the dress, I love it. I actually really, really like it. Do you like my dress? Yeah, it's this very is, pretty. Where do you think it's from? The internet. It's from the internet. It's from Wish. And it's very comfortable. Really, really thick fabric. I loved it. People were looking at it like people liked it. it looks like it's starting to fray though. There we go. He's clocking that it's fraying a little bit, but it was $5. I'm hungry. Let's, let's look, seeing as I'm not allowed to eat on camera, that's, I guess, mukbang over. <laughs> See you for round two tomorrow. Yeah. And so that brought us to day one, take two. Now it was 5am that we had to be at the airport for the second flight that they organized for us. And at 5am, it was so cold. I was planning on just putting this one back on again and just being like, oh yeah, you know, just a continuation of day one and just wearing this. But it was so cold that I couldn't even leave the hotel room. It's summer here in Australia, but that didn't change anything. It was freezing. So luckily for me, I picked up this one. The 2018 Fashion Women Floral Print Long Skirt Short Sleeve Long Sleeve Dress Beach Dress, size S to 5XL. Remember, I hadn't tried on any of these things. I packed them into my suitcase without trying a single one. So we're in the hotel room, it's 5 a.m. Actually, it's, it's 4.30 a.m. We had to be at the airport at five. So I put this dress on, looked at myself in the mirror, and felt a lot like a, like a vintage floral couch. 
Reminded me a lot of that. You remember that Kim Kardashian thing? Reminded me a lot of that. I hated it, but there was no time to wear anything else. We raced to the airport thinking we we have to get this flight. We have no choice. Got to get there. Got the 7 a.m. flight. We lined up for uh, 45 minutes. Got to the front check-in counter. The lady looks at us and says, Oh, oh the 7 a.m. Hamilton Island flight. Oh, I'm sorry. It's been pushed back until 3 p.m. <laughs> so instead of taking their 3 p.m. flight, we just uh, booked one with another airline. We went up to their counter and I said, I just need to get to Hamilton Island now. Please give me a flight, any flight. So this is a 5.45 a.m. and she says to us, we have one at 9.30. And normally you can't go through the gates until like two hours before the flight, but they took pity on us. So they were like, you know what? You can check in now. You can come straight through. So we went through security, found a comfortable spot, a little cafe just near the boarding gate. And uh, there we waited. I actually had a little bit of a snooze. Hey, Alex. I did not feel in the mood at all to film anything. I was wearing that dress on the plane, arrived to Hamilton Island wearing it, spent the entire day one wearing it. So I ended up wearing the long sleeve dress the whole day, but I, I didn't feel... I didn't film any of it. I was just in no mood. I mean, I'd been at the airport for I think a total of 26 hours that we were trying to get up to Hamilton Island. And by the time I was there, I was like, you know what, stop it. I don't want to do anything. I just want to go to sleep. Stupid wish video. I don't care about the wish clothes. I look like a couch anyway. I don't care. But let's fast forward to uh, when we arrived home and Sam and I concocted a little plan to make this dress a lot better than what it was. As you can see in the before shots, it was kind of frumpy, not really flattering at all. The waistline was sitting in the wrong spot. It wasn't quite the right length. You can definitely see that it's nothing like the expectation photo in the slightest. The pattern's off, the length is off, the fabric seems to be off. We had to work with what we had. So I called in Sam. I had a very unusual request for Sam. Now Sam, I can't believe I'm asking this of you, but... I can't believe you're asking anything of me ever. What I really need you to do tomorrow in the morning I need you to attack me with a pair of scissors. You had me until scissors. Uh, I have a dress that you need to help me alter. So we went at it with scissors and I think we did a pretty good job of making it a lot better. So first Sam cut off the sleeves. She is so concerned. Oh no, this could easily go so wrong. <laughs> One slip up and oh no, there, there goes the artery. Then he went for the hemline. We decided sort of just above the knee. Not the most precise job ever, but doesn't look too bad. We cut a V-neck into it. Then we used some of the excess fabric from the bottom to tie up the sleeves and also to make a little bit of a makeshift belt. And voila, there we have it. I popped on a hat that I thrifted for $2, a pair of shoes that I thrifted for $3, a little handbag that I was given by Uvini, and a pair of sunglasses from Kitten D'Amour. I absolutely adore this outfit so much. I think it looks so nice. So we had to head up to the shops for me to pick up my uh, new glasses. My very first ever pair of glasses. Since becoming a YouTuber, I've wrecked my eyesight. I can't see anything anymore. Finally have glasses. You guys get to see the glasses reveal. Archie's about to see my glasses for the first time. He's never seen me wear glasses. Archie! Ready? What do you think? Do you want to come see? Come see. Come see. You like them? No. 
What? Do you like them? They're my glasses. Now I look like Uncle Sam. Hi. We also had to do some shopping. I had to get Archie all of his food for the week and uh, we had to pick up some food. We we're about to go camping. So we went to get some food for that. You know what's funny? Everything in here is for Archie. Archie eats better than we do, as you as you can observe. This is for, for one tiny little bird, aside from that. Yeah, that's my cheese. That's, that's, <laughs> Sam has the cheese, Archie has the crackers. It was really, really fun going out in this outfit. I loved it. I felt really comfortable. It was so much more flattering than the way that the dress originally was. The difference with the neckline, just bringing it down into a V, I found sort of brought a lot more light to this area, made it look a, mo a lot more fresh. And obviously having the shorter sleeves, it means I can wear it in the Australian summer. I'm actually really, really happy with how this turned out. I would definitely ask Sam to help me out with this sort of thing again. It needs to be sort of fixed up a little bit because we obviously just did a really, really rough job. We just hacked at it with some scissors, but I think that with a little bit of stitching, a little bit of sewing, we could probably, you know, tidy up the edges, make the hem look a lot nicer, maybe do some nice detail on the back. I feel like this is a project for Sam because I am completely incompetent with a sewing machine. But hey, for $5, I think I've ended up with a pretty nice dress and it's unique too, in a sense that uh, there'd probably be no one else with this exact dress. It's done just the way I like it. Fits my body shape, the right length for me. So uh, I recommend if you get something from Wish and you're not entirely happy with it, don't let it be a complete write-off. I mean, definitely you should be getting what you paid for. That's, that's what you hope to get. But if you don't, you can always try to work with it. It, it was actually a lot of fun. So very happy with this one. Now, back on Hamilton Island last week, we uh, arrived finally, and after all that stress that I went through trying to get there, I was definitely, definitely in need of a massage. So I popped on this dress. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, not everything's about you. Okay, day number two, we are wearing this lovely number. This was the, I think it's like $5 from Wish, and uh, I'm out here with a couple of my good friends. We've got Marvin and Gary and Greg and Peter and Steve. Steve's my favorite. G'day Steve. How's it going? Do you like my dress, Steve? Is it a nice dress? Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he likes it. I don't think he likes it. I'm going to get a massage today and I just want something that's easy to take on and off. I can have my swimmers under it. It's a very, very pretty color. A little tiny bit sheer, which isn't great, but you're at the beach, so what does it matter? Very glad that I feel very at home with all these birds here, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever had so much wear out of one dress in a single week. I've worn this multiple times a day. I threw it on over the top of swimmers. I put it on with a pair of flip flops and also with high heels. In the picture, she's wearing it with a little crown and she's got bangles on as well. And I think it's very, very nice when you dress it up. I kind of feel as though in this picture, if you look at it closely, that one does look very well made, which leads me to believe that that's probably, it is probably a design from another brand. And if anyone knows where this original design is from, please let me know so I can link it down below. This does feel more like a $10 dress, I would say, or even a $15 dress. $5, I think that's amazing. And I can't believe that I actually got a pastel $5 dress. It is so cute. I've worn this a lot since we got home from Hamilton Island as well. I just can't get enough of it. This is the perfect summer dress for me. It's got my favorite color lilac at the front and I'm, I really love buttercup yellow and then it's got this really nice sort of minty kind of green as well. I think it's so pretty, I love it. Yes, green. So this is the point in the video where things start to take a little bit of a turn because we're up at Hamilton and the only clothes that I took with me were the ones from Wish and uh, I encountered a little bit of a problem. There were three pieces in particular that I couldn't wear. I just could not wear. The first one was this black sort of spaghetti strap dress that is so tight and so sheer. I couldn't wear a bra with it because you'd be able to see it at the back and I could see straight through it. So I left this one for when we got home when I could dress it up with a couple of other items. The other one was this white dress, which you'll see later in the video as well. I couldn't wear this on Hamilton either. 
It's so skin tight that I couldn't fit a bikini on underneath it. I could wear it with nothing underneath, but it's so tight that I could not put any of my bikini tops under it. And the whole time we were on the island, I was wearing bikinis under basically everything. So I couldn't wear this because it was very, very, very transparent, very sheer and very, very, very tight. So I wasn't able to wear this one until we got home. And then this one. I don't really know how to explain this to you. I guess I'll just put it on and show you. It is nothing like the expectation photo. It, it very vaguely resembles it, but it has this problem at the top where it doesn't fit properly at all. The shorts and the body of it are so, so small that it just rides up so high that it's just completely, this, this one is just a total write off. I just can't wear this anywhere. So this one, couldn't wear this on the island. Haven't been able to wear it since the island either. So that one, I'm gonna have to get kind of crafty. I don't know how I can fix this one. If you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. I don't think it'll be as easy as fixing up like how we did with the couch dress because that one was just, go at it with scissors and it'll be fine. So if you have any suggestions for how I could possibly alter that one, please let me know. I would love to hear them and I'll visit this in a future video and show you guys how we managed to uh, work with it. But what I did end up doing on day four was putting together this very odd outfit that, I mean, I, I wore it around the island, but looking back at the video, I, it, <laughs> I think it's terrible. Now, I'm wearing a bikini top under this, so it's not really showing the way that it should be, but you can kind of see it, so it's an off the shoulder. Uh, this one came in a whole bunch of different colours. It feels really, really cheap, and the fabric is completely sheer, so you do kind of have to wear something underneath it. It also digs in a little bit, like the, the arms, they are not forgiving. Like, I can't even put a finger down there. That is as tight as a finger in a nose. But this one, for just a couple of dollars, it's actually really, really nice. It's really easy to wear, very, very flowy, quite stretchy as well. This is the small size, so there's a lot of give. Uh, we're going out on a boat today, so I have the bikini on under this, so that's for the bikini haul that you guys will see later. It's very comfortable, but like I said, digging in at the arms, so that's, that's not quite as comfortable as it could be, but the rest of it, it's fine, and it's easy to slip on and off, so because I have the bikini on underneath, when we get out on the boat, I'll just be able to strip this off really, really easily. No hassle, no fuss. So yeah, this one, it's pretty good for a beach holiday. I like it a lot. <laughs> so bad. This green skirt, I actually own this green skirt from the original. I've owned it for about eight years and I can't for the life of me remember where I got the original one from. But here's some pictures of me wearing it. Uh, years and years and years I've had this one for and I paid, I think about $50 for it. At the moment, I can't find it because we just recently moved apartments and there's a lot of my clothes that are still packed away. Can't find it anywhere, but that one is so much more luxurious. There's a lot more volume to it. I love that skirt to bits. But I did pay, like I said, probably $50 for it. So this one for five, it's not too bad at all. It's got a double layer, but it's still very, very transparent. But I think styled properly, this one could look really, really nice. I think that in theory, this could have been a really good outfit, but because this is very, very baggy, and then this puffs out a lot, I just kind of feel a little bit like a big mushroom, or I don't like this combo at all, but I think with a different top, this skirt would look fine. I love tops like this. It is a little bit tight and it does really dig in here. So if you sit it in the wrong spot, it doesn't look anywhere near as flattering. So I do find that I have to keep sort of hiking it up here to stop that like quadruple cleavage going on. And the sleeves are extremely tight too. Right? There's not very much room here for my finger to sort of fit in there. Again, each of these items are $5. This definitely does feel like a $5 top. It came with a lot of different colors and I would be interested to know if the different colors had the same transparency issues. You can see straight through this and you can see everything underneath. Anytime I was wearing a bikini, you could see every pattern underneath. So I don't know if you'd have the same problem with the black one or the blue one, but I don't think that I recommend the white one at all, but I can definitely recommend the skirt. The skirt's very, very flowy. It's very pretty. I love the colors of it, but it's nowhere near as nice as the original one that I have. I don't know where I got that original one. I can't for the life of me remember it. So if you know, if you've seen this skirt before, please leave it in the comments below and I can link a couple of alternative places to buy it. But a $5 skirt that looks this nice, that's great. This top, eh? The bucket hat, I mean, this. I think this is one of, the, one of the best things that I've ever bought, to be honest. It's got the cute little fries all over it. And it came in a couple of different patterns too. This is very, very thick fabric. 
It's very heavy and also a little bit hot. Uh, I don't know if this really gives you very much protection from the sun, but it's very, very cute. KHC, Kentucky hide the chicken from Alex. Now, because I was having this issue of being limited with what I could wear, because there was three things that I couldn't wear at all, I did end up recycling some clothes. So the next day, I popped on this top and then these shorts. Are you done? I love these shorts so much. They're very stretchy. So I feel like they fit a lot of different sizes. They also came in a couple of different... favorite by far because it's got purple on it. I love the color purple. Now I did encounter one slight but actually kind of huge problem when I was wearing these. So I wore this top and I wore a bikini under this top and I wore these. I was walking around the island and this happened. I had put sunscreen everywhere that I thought I would need it but I didn't put it underneath the shorts and then this happened. So uh Yep, beautiful, so soak it in. It's nice and crispy. The shorts, they're very, very comfy. They look nice, I like the pattern. Alex, what's that? What? What's that? No touch, no touch, no. <laughs> so we arrived home from our holiday after I recycled a lot of the clothes on multiple different occasions. A couple of the items that I couldn't wear when we were up there, I did manage to kind of work with a little bit. So I finally gave the polka dot dress a try. I was so excited about this dress based on the pictures, but when it arrived, it is nothing like the photos in the slightest. In terms of what this is supposed to look like based on the pictures, it's definitely different. Like definitely, you can see that the little dots and everything are in the pictures, they're like this big, they're huge, and it, looks, and it almost looks like shorter and it looks like sort of puffs out like that. So it's definitely different, but you know what? It was five bucks, so you can't, can't expect the world for five dollars, but at the same time, you do expect that the pictures are at least gonna reflect what it's gonna look like, so uh, I don't know. It's a very cute dress and we wore it out for brunch. I had to wear a pink cardigan with it that basically covered the entire back because it was so incredibly transparent, you could see everything. I wore white undies underneath, couldn't even wear a bra with it. So you could see every single little detail. I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, a little bit. That's why we brought this, because it's a little little bit of modesty protection, I guess, but a bit of a embarrassment protection, I suppose you could say. I don't mind uh, the look of it with the cardigan. I think from the front, it's not, as bad as it is from the back. I think you can still see, but it's not as bad. So the long pink cardigan that I wore just kind of covered my modesty a little bit. I also paired it with this pin that one of my subscribers made. This is from Lost Kiwi Designs. She's so amazing. She sent this to me, uh, to my PO box a little while ago and I've been wearing it a lot. It's perfect for keeping the cardigan closed. This dress, it definitely passes when you can just see little tiny bits of it underneath the cardigan, but wearing it without the cardigan, you know, it was a little bit embarrassing and I guess it didn't help that I was just kind of doing embarrassing things while I was wearing it. Waddle, 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 till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba -dum. I feel like if this was anywhere near as cute as the ones in the photos, I would just, I would wear this all the time. I love white dresses with black polka dots. I think they're so cute. And the way that this one is like cut and styled is very, very flattering. I love it. It's much shorter than this one, but it's also a little bit more form fitting at the waist and then it flares out. And also, as you can see, the polka dots are a lot bigger than these polka dots. These ones are tiny. This one is probably the biggest expectation reality fail that I have had on Wish so far. Uh, so definitely not worth the $5. I guess if you just think about it as a piece of clothing, it's kind of worth five dollars. But when you when you're thinking that's what you're paying for, this this picture is what you're paying for, and this is what you get, it's definitely not worth it. The dress underneath, because it, it's got two layers, like there's this slip like this, and then this layer, and the slip underneath is 
so tight. It's almost like a corset. And actually, I, I kind of don't mind it because like, it's almost like sucking me in a bit. It's like wearing shapewear. That's how tight it is. But then the outside bit is a little bit more loose and flowing, so it's okay. But also, because it's so tight and it's made of this like silky material, it just rides up. So as, as I'm walking, it like comes up like this and I have to keep keep pulling it down like every time I walk. Now, if you guys saw my Uvini video, you might remember me saying that whenever I wear anything white, it always gets stained. Well, tragedy. No, no, Alex. Tragedy. It was a deliberate stain test. Ah, yes, that's right. <laughs> A little bit of an update on those shorts. You remember when we were at Hamilton? It's been a few days now, and uh, just look. Whoa. Yeah, that burnt. You crispy, girl. Crispy, crispy. And then the last outfit we wore on date night, Dan and I headed out. We had a very fancy restaurant to go to, and I thought it was the real, really the only occasion that I could wear this black dress. Okay, so Dan and I are going out on date night. We're going to a very famous restaurant in the CBD that's called Rockpool. Uh, we were very lucky we actually won a gift voucher at a work function, so uh, we don't have to pay for it, which is good. They do very, very good steak, but I've been told it's very expensive. So because it's date night and the very last item to wear for this Wish video is this $5 dress, I thought, well, may as well go black heels, black dress, a little bit of silver jewelry, the wig, because why not? I feel like I'm kind of developing like a little bit of an alter ego where whenever I wear black, I always wear the blonde wig. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we're off to the sea. So hopefully it's not too dark when we get there to film. Hopefully you can see everything. But actually, no, I take that back. I don't mind if you can't see everything because this, this dress is very, very tight and I don't think it's extremely flattering. I feel like there's a few lumps and bumps going on that I don't want to highlight. Hence why I haven't worn this dress out in the daylight yet. Uh, that's why I'm glad I'm wearing it at night. I can just disappear into the darkness. So uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you in the city. I felt very Parisian wearing this dress because I couldn't wear a bra and I don't have any sort of sticky bra. So it was a, uh, you know, hashtag free the nipple kind of thing going on there. Felt very, very Parisian chic, I must say. I didn't feel confident enough to wear this one out without a coat and I had really, really hoped for a long coat but I couldn't find a long coat that matched it. So I just wore out this short le uh, leopard print one that I bought from Chu, which is a Korean store. I paired it with some black high heels and a Louis Vuitton bag. I actually put a picture up on Instagram and a lot of people were asking me about this bag. They were saying, oh, is it a fake or is it real? This is a real bag. I actually got this in Japan. They have a lot of uh, retailers that sell authentic Louis Vuitton that's been verified, but they sell it for a fraction of the price. So I think that this one may have been about $80 and the reason that it was so cheap was because there was a lot of stains on the leather Normally this leather along here is like a sort of tan brown color See that's the original color there and it was kind of stained at the bottom here It was a little bit stained from whoever used to own it. So my mum helped me. She dyed it She dyed it like with a sort of dark leather dye to give it this nice yeah, I guess it's it's almost black. It's just a very, very dark brown. And then I put this little black pom-pom on it as well. So I thought that this was a perfect one to wear out to the restaurant that we went to because it was a very, very fancy restaurant. I don't think I'm gonna wear this dress ever again though because it's so sheer, you could see straight through it. Uh, and I felt really, really embarrassed walking around. It's quite short, very tight. I didn't have a bra to wear with it. I felt very sort of attention grabbing. So Dan and I naturally, when we finished eating, we just went and found a very, very, very quiet corner of Sydney to take a little bit of stock footage in for you guys to see what I mean. What are you doing? a mistake to be honest we still liked it like it was it was tasty food but I I definitely wouldn't go there and get a full price like luckily we had that gift voucher because there's no way <laughs> no 
way would I ever pay for that. But it was still a lovely date night, like very cool experience, like going to such a fancy place. But other than that, yeah, nothing to rave about to be honest. I feel like the people from BuzzFeed Tasty are lying to you. So the guys from BuzzFeed Worth It ate at Rockpool when they were in Australia and they made out as though the steak was amazing and they loved it. And that's exactly the reason that Dan and I decided to try it for ourselves. And it was the most incredibly average, ordinary steak you've ever eaten in your life. They're lying. Ah! Oh my God, this is horrifying. Ah! It's me. Ah! Ah! So I put my hair up in uh, braids. Hey look, I'm Princess Leia. Dude. Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Good party trick. Have a hairstyle prepared under the hairstyle that you're wearing. We're in the middle of the city right now and there's people can see. They can see this crazy woman with a camera touching her hair. She's just ripped off her blonde weave. They're like, what is that what? ugly looking mole rat underneath that wig? Okay, and then last but not least, we remove the jacket. We strip. Do 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 and I'm a different person. How about that glow up? <laughs> you know, the, the 2009 versus 2019 challenge, it's, it's more like a 2019 versus 2019. <laughs> that was a great night and uh, all right food, but it was very fun going out and wearing this $5 dress. It felt very, very strange going into a fancy restaurant like that, like one of the top restaurants in the country, getting a basically a $200 steak and wearing a $5 dress from Wish. Very unusual, but who else would you expect to do it other than Pretty Pastel Please? With no one else around, I felt totally fine wearing this, but with other people watching, I was just like, please don't look at me. I felt completely on display and I didn't like it at all. And also the funny thing about the images, as you can see, it's the same photo and they've just photoshopped different colors. So I have no idea what the other colors would be like, but if the black one is this sheer that you can see straight through, I don't know, I really have no faith in any of them. But then again, it was $5, $5. Yeah, probably probably not worth $5. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is worth $5? I personally don't, I don't like it. Don't like the way that it fits, don't like how tight it is, don't like how sheer it is, don't like the style that much, don't like how short it is. It was just a little bit of a fail for me. It photographed okay though. Kind of, kind of happy with how the pictures turned out. That's it guys, that is my one week wearing clothing from Wish. I think what I've taken away from this experience is that if you only have $5 to spend on an item of clothing, just go to a thrift store. I mean, the amount of incredible things that I've bought from thrift stores is just mind boggling. Like if you guys want to see a video, I can take you on a thrift haul or I could just like pick out all the clothes that I have that I've bought from thrift stores. Before I was on YouTube, I didn't buy anything new. Nothing. I just, I just got thrifted clothes and I used to get stuff for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It's cheaper than Wish, you get to try it on. It's often really good brands, really well made. So unless you see something spectacular on Wish and you know that other people have bought it and other people have liked it, I would just be very wary of anything that's five dollars. My standout items from this were definitely the vintage blue dress. I did adore that. I thought that was stunning. I have since been back on the website and the price has gone up to like $15 now. I don't know whether it was on sale, but sometimes you'll find that depending on the size that you pick or the color that you pick, the price will change. So I don't know if I just got lucky and managed to get it for $5 or what, but I do love that one. And I think a very close runner up is the pastel beachy dress. I think that one's absolutely stunning too. The skirt definitely gets a special mention. I think that the skirt's really pretty for $5. That one is actually a pretty good purchase. And the rest, I just feel like, eh. For those of you that sent me these items in a submission, I hope that I've answered your questions about them. I hope that it's helped you to make up your mind as to whether or not you want to buy it. So if you like this episode of Your Weeby and you want me to do some more, let me know in the comments below. If you ever have any items that you want me to try out, just drop the links. Don't forget to keep an eye out for my Wish bikini haul and uh, another Wish shoe haul that's coming up soon. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!